But if the evidence isn't really there like they say, why do such smart people cling to a poorly supported, scientifically dubious belief? A big reason is something called Methodological Naturalism. This is a hidden philosophical starting point that ultimately assumes only one possible explanation. Natural causes. No matter how remote or impossible the odds, and ignores all others, no matter how face-slappingly obvious. Methodological naturalism is how these videos can claim that the evidence we see all makes sense only if, only if, their theories of abiogenesis are true, and this idea that the most promising idea right now is that life emerged from chemistry. Because they've excluded all others, so it's the only possible idea. This is like winning first place in a race when you're the only one in it. After you exclude all possible alternatives, we shouldn't be surprised that the remaining idea becomes the most promising idea, even if it's false. The question being asked in Origin of Life Science is, how did natural processes begin life? Instead of the more open and honest question, how did life begin? If we were investigating a death, the best thing to do would be to come at it with an open mind. Maybe it was natural causes, maybe not. Either way, we'll collect all the evidence before drawing a conclusion. Perhaps the deceased was quite elderly, alone in the house with all the doors locked, and he was found peacefully lying in bed. Natural causes would be a pretty compelling case. On the other hand, if we found a young healthy person with signs of a struggle, the house was broken into, multiple bite wounds in the back. Someone did this would clearly be the better fit to explain the evidence we saw. If the forensic scientists did what origin of life scientists do, they would misdiagnose the cause of death. They'd not only be wrong, but embarrassingly and confidently so. Sure, they could try to explain away all the evidence they found to fit their preferred conclusion. Maybe they just don't want to live in a world where people are murdered. So all evidence of murder is ignored or explained away. Nah, this house wasn't broken into. That rock that broke the glass in the door is a naturally geologically formed object, easily explained away by physics. And about the house being trashed, maybe a strong wind just blew through and messed up the place. Or an earthquake, plenty of hypotheses that could explain that as well, no problem. Now, the odd shaped wounds in the back, I'll admit, Hard to explain, but that doesn't mean it was a murder. This was clearly a death due to natural causes. Forensic science, it just needs to advance a bit further and uh, eventually we'll find a way to explain away this evidence. Obviously, that detective would be fired, rightfully so. But not so in the origin of life science. He'd be given tenure, a big funding grant, and invited to do a TED talk. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this kind of video, make sure you subscribe and you can hit that bell so you can be notified when we release more videos.